All right, so this is going to be the new chapter. The second chapter of the year is called Jim Crow. And we're going to start off with the first five vocabulary words. Jim Crow are laws that establish segregation by requiring whites and blacks to use separate facilities. Uh, they are called Jim Crow because of a minstrel play, but I'll get to that later in the, in the uh, chapter, okay? So basically put, Jim Crow laws are segregation laws, okay? And everybody knows what the word segregation is because we've had that word. Disenfranchised, okay? When somebody legally takes away your right to vote, you have been disenfranchised. If that is the case, then enfranchised means your legal right to vote or suffrage, okay? You are given the right to vote, given suffrage, but this is disenfranchised. Sharecropper, okay? A farm worker that was provided seed and equipment by the southern landowner. So at the end of slavery, they had all this land down south and they didn't have enough workers to work it. So farmer slaves would often go back to their masters and they would work the land and they would split the, the share of the crop 50-50. The landowner got half of the money and the sharecropper got half the money. That's the way it was supposed to work. Now, if you were a little bit better off than a sharecropper, you might become a tenant farmer, okay? It's a farm worker that provided their own seed and equipment and rented the land from the landowner or, uh, for a share of the crop. So because you had your own seed and equipment, you didn't have to borrow everything from the former master. Therefore, the split would be something more like 40-60, and the, the farmer got to keep 60%, okay? Usually, tenant farmers were white, okay? They actually had stuff whenever the war ended, and sharecroppers were black, okay? Most African Americans after the war ended and slavery ended, they didn't have anything. They had the clothes on their back and that's it, okay? So they were in a little bit worse shape financially, therefore they had to be sharecroppers while the white farmers had something, so they're usually tenant farmers. All right, scalawag, okay? Scalawag are white Southerners that worked with the Republican Reconstructionist government. So, um, anyway, I'll get to that. I'll explain that a little bit deeper once we're in the chapter, okay? So if you're from the South and you're helping the North to control the South during Reconstruction, which is the time after the Civil War, then you were called a scalawag. It was meant to be an insult. 